so good morning all of you uh, we are going to discuss about the regulation of gene expression in this video so we will discuss in details about the types of gene expression which includes induction and your repression and we will also discuss about the uh, operon concept as proposed by jacob and monad so let us start the video as far as uh, gene expression is concerned gene expresses itself by the process of transcription and translation which ultimately produces proteins you know about transcription in which the dna synthesizes rna so after rna has been mrna has been synthesized translation otherwise known as protein synthesis occurs which results in the formation of proteins now proteins in turn serve as enzymes of various metabolic pathways got it now enzymes which are required in very small quantities uh, for a particular period of time they are not required to be synthesized all the time in a cell because it will just be a waste of energy so gene expression needs to be regulated which will help in conserving energy of a cell so gene in other words we can say that gene regulation gives functional efficiency to the organism so gene expression uh, is of two types in case of prokaryotes it is induction and repression in case of induction the gene expression is turned on whereas in case of repression the gene expression is turned off depending upon the situation so first come to induction well as far as induction is concerned here the addition of a substrate to the medium stimulates or induces the expression of a gene which synthesizes the enzymes required for its own metabolism so what happens in this case where well, if the substrate is present in the environment and that substrate needs to be broken down or metabolized so it will definitely require enzymes and these enzymes how they will be formed by the process of gene expression because ultimately the gene expression will produce proteins which in turn will give rise to enzymes or produce enzymes so here the presence of the substrate is determining whether the transcription is or transcription will occur or not got it so the example is lac operon so second type of gene expression found in case of prokary prokaryotes is repression as i have already told you repression means here the uh, your transcription process is turned off when does it occur so here presence of the end product okay stops the synthesis of enzymes which are needed for its formation now this phenomenon is called feedback repression so here the condition is a bit different here the substance which is required to be formed okay if that is present in the environment in sufficient amount there is no need for the formation of the substance again because these are found in sufficient amount in the environment so because the gene expression in this case is ultimately producing the substance so gene expression will be stopped because the substrate or the substance is present in the environment so here the presence of the substrate is inhibiting the gene expression so this is called feedback repression an example of this feedback repression is trp operon okay so so now come to the process of gene regulation now the concept of gene regulation was first explained by jacob and monad in 1961 through operon model okay so what is an operon an operon is a cluster of genes that is group of genes group of adjacent genes that encode enzymes 
and are transcribed together into a single mRNA. You know what is uh, transcription? That is synthesis of RNA. So, so all these cluster of genes which we call as your uh, operon, they are transcribed together into mRNA. Now, the structure of operon is very simple. It's uh, made up of four parts that is structural genes, operator gene, promoter gene, uh, the promoter region rather we should say, then the regulator gene or repressor gene. So these four we will discuss in details about these four parts. Let us first start the structural genes. These structural genes they lie adjacent to each other that means they are close to each other and the RNA polymerase which moves from one gene to the other uh, transcribes all of these structural genes into a single mRNA. Got it? So structural genes are lying adjacent to each other and the RNA polymerase tra during transcription um, transcribes all these structural genes into a single mRNA. So now the structural genes are followed by an operator the operator gene, it lies close to the structural gene. Got it? Now, what is the function of this operator gene? The operator gene controls access of RNA, RNA polymerase to structural genes for transcription. So, this operator gene is actually giving access to, of RNA polymerase to structural genes. Okay? Now, next one is your promoter region. You know quite well as far as promoter is concerned because this is the site of the DNA to which RNA polymerase binds okay, and starts the process of transcription. That is very well known to you. <clears throat> then, last one is the regulator gene. What is this regulator gene? It actually codes for a protein okay, and that protein is called repressure which under appropriate condition binds to operator region okay, and stops the process of transcription of structural genes. So actually the regulator gene is coding for a protein called repressure which under appropriate condition binds to the operator and stops the transcription of structural genes. Now binding of this repressure to the operator actually depends on the presence or absence of effector molecule. What is this effector molecule? The same thing that I have discussed about the induction and repression. During the induction repression that I have discussed that a soft presence of a substrate is determining whether the transcription will occur or not. Isn't it? So here the, the, the substrates are actually the effector molecules. So if, if the effector molecule is present or absent so depending upon the effector presence or absence of the effector molecule, the operator, I mean operator is bound by the repressor. That means repressor is dependent on the effector molecule for its binding. In case of inducible operon, that is the example called lac operon or lactose operon, here effector molecule is the inducer. And what is that effector molecule? The effector molecule is lactose. Got it? Whereas in case of repressible operon, the effector molecule is called co-repressor. And uh, the example of repressible operon is your TRP operon or tryptophan operon. So in that case, the tryptophan is the effector molecule and it is known as co-repressor. Okay? So we have discussed about the structure of operon. Now let us discuss about the process of induction and the process of repression. 